see what these robots come out with. One quick shot from the Red Alliance, slightly overshot, looking like some positioning taking place here. And we lost our first game, the second game was pretty successful. At one point we were second place, but we dropped to 11. I hope we uh, move up now. Since we're against the best of other schools, it's a challenge now, and we're trying our best to stay up there. We're very happy to have all the Compton High Schools have joined the program this year, which has been really wonderful. There's 135 teams across nine counties who come together. The robotics is actually what made me more focused in school, actually. I would just, you know, want to do my work, get ready to the bell ring so I could go straight to the program. I have never missed a day in the robotics program, ever. <laughs> The events, I didn't think they were going to be this big. I didn't think they were going to be this like this many people committed to one thing and that we're grouping up as a community, I'd say, and just having fun, doing what we can to go to bigger places. Like, like next competition is at Seattle. It's great opportunities. In three, two, one, go. Take with a quick shot. Kings and Queens responding with a quick shot of their own. This is our last game. We gotta win it to see if we can like qualify for anything good. 11 3 3 5, Delta Tech going for some more particle shots. Lining up, and it just goes just a little. It went downhill. Not what we expected. We're not bad, but we just don't have like the beacons, the color sensors to be able to do that, you know? So, but our autonomous is pretty consistent. The only time we really miss is the last game, which we like missed both of these shots, but the whole game was pretty much done once they uh, hit the beacons and capped the ball. We've just been paired up against people who are pretty good. They've been in the game for a couple years now. So it's not really our fault, but we could have done better. It was a program at first that I just felt would be fun to do and now it's like it might help me lead me into a career choice. Robotics, engineering, that's what actually, yeah, that's what sparks me up to work. And yeah, I don't even mind working the whole day on a robot because that's what I like doing. 